Today is May uh, 21st, 2022. It is a Saturday, and today's also day 102 of Blender. And I'm just gonna do something simple today, like this white bottle, because it's late and I wanna go to the park. So yeah, so we're gonna start here. I'm gonna do Control 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Another way you can do this is by going to Add Modifier and just clicking on Subdivision Surface, and I'll do the same thing. Um, oops, I forgot to turn on my shortcuts, which you won't have. Oh, I have it on? I didn't even notice. Okay. I didn't even see it. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, you won't have the shortcuts unless you download it. It's an add-on. Okay, so now I'm going to go into edit mode by clicking on tab, or you could just go here, top left, and click on edit mode. Where is it? Okay. And then three for face select, or you can go top left and click on the face select. And then um, I'm going to select, actually, I'm going to select this face, and I'm going to grab it, press D to grab, and it's, I'm gonna, I want to grab it upwards. And so I want to grab it upwards, so I'm going to click on Z, on Z for Z, on the Z axis, which is the blue axis, and I'll just kind of enlarge it like that. And then I'll do Control R um, for a loop cut. So you hover over an edge, and then you just go all the way up to kind of straighten those things out, do another one, go all the way down. So now it looks more like a cylinder, kind of like that. All right. And then, actually, you know what? I should have just done a cube. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me delete this. I'll just do a normal cube, right? And I'll just go into edit mode. I'll do three for face select, select this face, and then just grab it up on the Z, kind of like that. And then what I'll do is I'll select everything and scale it on the Y by pressing SY. Um, so that looks better. Um, I would have done the old method if it was something like a, like a water bottle or like a soda bottle, but this is like a straight kind of like rectangle, so that's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll click two for edge select or you could just do top left over here and click on edge select and then just select these edges over here by pressing shift um, and then selecting the edges and then I'll do control B to add a bevel so do something like that and to increase the segments you want to scroll up on your mouse kind of like that so I want it to be like a little bit kind of like that um, you could do the same thing by going to modifiers and just click going to generate column and clicking on bevel um, so that works, I guess, but it's a little bit more straighter, I guess. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Okay, so that's what that is. Um, I think, should we scale it on the X to make it thinner? Yeah, scale it on the X, so S, X, and to make it thinner, um, on the top. So then we have the top, which is kind of like a cylinder top. Let me see, mesh, cylinder. G over here, scale it downwards, down, not down. Let me do um, scale Y to scale it kind of like that. And then go to object properties and whatever scale we apply to the Y, I'll do the same to the X so it's even. And then I'm going to turn on snapping. I'm going to snap to face. Um, and you do this by doing shift tab. So shift tab you turn on snapping and then I'll just do G um, and then I'll do Z so that it snaps you know right there um, on the Z axis to the to the the bottle I guess why is it capital letters why is it always capital okay cap okay and then I do right click shade smooth um, and then should I have done shade smooth I don't even know um, and then that's pretty much it that's literally all there is to it I think though this we could scale it on the Y to make it kind of like this um and yeah that's that's it <laughs> and then we just do the text so i'll do shift a and i'll go to text and i'll rotate this oops on the 90 on the x and then 90 on the one nope 90 on the z there we go um another way you could do this is by pressing r and then doing like okay 90 and then like x or whatever you want it but i'm gonna do Control z um, I'm going to do G on the X so that it snaps to the t kind of close to this, right? Um, G, whoops, nope, nope, G on the Y, right? And then in order to change what it says, you go into tab and then you just do that. So ginger, and then I'll do white. Um, and then I'll probably do some space, whoops, kind of like that. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I should make it two things. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to go here and 
just scale it down. I think what I'm gonna, whoa, what happened? What happened? Okay, edit mode. Why can't I see it? Text, edit mode. What the? Okay, edit mode. I'm just gonna do this and then do, just snap it over here to ginger. Probably scale it down a little more. Move it over here. Um, and then do shift D and then do one over here and then just change what it says. And then we can position it according to what we have here. So like in the middle, on the Y, right there, G Y. And then we could do uh, the stuff at the bottom. All right, which I'm just gonna do shift D and I'm just gonna put it over here, go into edit mode by clicking on tab and do E, whatever that says, the toilet, that's French. And then just do G on the Y. Scale it down, move it over here. Does it look like that? Yeah. Um, move it more like that. And then do Shift D, and then I'll just move it on the sides. It's kind of like that. And I'll just go into edit mode and take that out. And I'll do E 50 milliliters 1.69 FL dot OZ dot. And there's not a space right there, so I'll do that, and then I think that's fine. Just move it on the Y a little, um, and that's good. Um, this is probably bigger, so let me move it on the Y like that, and this is kind of like that. Okay, so now to get on to materials, I'm going to go to material view. Um, and you can't see it. Great. So what I'll do here is because this thing is not showing up. So what I'll do is I'll go to the text object data properties and I'll go to uh, geometry and I'll go to depth and I'll just give it a depth of 0, 1 maybe. And then you can kind of see it better. Depth. Where is it? 0, 0 0.01. You could do the same. I think the same effect you can get if you just add a solidify modifier. Um, where was I? Okay, there we go. And then, nope, wrong one. Depth right there. Okay. And then, um, do we want to do anything with the cap? No. Maybe make it like scale it on the Y. And then go back and do the same scale that I did on the Y. On the X. Oh my god, I started watching Lincoln Lawyer, not me actually watching a show that doesn't, that's not fantasy or mystery. Or, well, I did watch, yeah, I just usually watch sci fi shows, so it's a different thing, you know? Very exciting. Anyway, um, okay, let's go to material view, which is right over here, top right. Um, are you kidding? Oh, you, oh, <laughs> it says it doesn't have eye color. Okay, so go to material properties, which is this little icon over here. Click on new, and then I'm just, it's kind of like a black, so I'll just make it a, well, maybe it's more like a gray, but whatever. So, it's kind of ingrained, too. It looks ingrained. Maybe I should make it ingrained. Um, so base color, I'm just going to put it all the way down. I can't even see the stuff. So new, all the way down. Over here, new, all the way down. The bottle itself has a color of white. And over here, it also has a color of white. And it's also, like, shiny. So what I'll do is I'll go to roughness and I'll bring the shine a little... Um, I'll turn the roughness a little down so it's more shiny. Okay, and then to add a backdrop, I'll do mesh and I'll do a plane. I'll scale it to 5. And then, maybe I should have scaled it to like, okay, honey, wait, Jesus Christ, um, 10? Okay, no, scale it to 6. Scale it to, okay. Um, tab to edit, go into edit mode, click on 2 for edge select, click on this back edge over here, whoops, 
over here, this one in the back, and then just click E to extrude, and then it's going all the way to place. So in order to go up and down, you want to press on Z. If you wanted to go to the red, so you go here. If you want to go to the Y axis, then you would go this way, but it's not going to do anything because it's an edge. So it's Z um, to go up and down, and it'll do like uh, that's really bad. Ten. Whoa, on the Z. Um, okay, so ten doesn't work. So how about twenty? What's going on? Whatever. I'll just take the edge over here and I'll just grab it. On the Z. Okay, whatever. And then I'm gonna get out of there by clicking on tab, going back to object mode. I'm gonna go to uh, modifiers and add a uh, bevel, and that's gonna add a bevel on that edge right there. And I'm just gonna do amount and also segments to add a backdrop, and then I'll scale the whole thing. Whoa, on the Y. So kind of like that. And then on. Um, Oops, and then just move it down over here. Turn and snapping off. Um, okay, and then I'll give the backdrop a color, um, which I'll choose by going to colors. Mm -mm -mm. Um, what can we do? Base color, hex, and then go here. It's okay, whatever. Um, and then, um, I think, I feel like it's larger. So what I'll do is, um, oh, you know what? I'll take this. Oh, actually, you know what? I wanted to do, I wanted it to be, like, a little ingrained because it looks ingrained into the uh um what is it called the bottle so hmm how can we fix this <laughs> we could um just move it on the x a little looks kind of like that but it's just not gonna I don't think it looks ingrained there. Yeah, it looks the same. I don't know. How do I do an ingrained effect? That's something I could... Let me Google it. Is that how you say it? Ingrain? Ingrain. No. Oh, and great. I knew it. I was spelling it right. But I don't. I don't. I mean, did I already search this up? Oh, I did, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you turned it in, you turned it into a mesh. Are you kidding me? I thought of doing that, but I didn't know. Oh, you had to turn it into a mesh first. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I guess. So what I'll do is I'll select this. Well, no, let me select this and then sh unselect that and just do shift D and just move it on the Y over there to have a copy of it. But what I'll do is I guess we're going to object and what did they say to, where is it? Convert, convert to mesh and keep original. And then let me just try it with this, right? So now it's a mesh, and then I could just select on this and then select on the thing that I wanted to do, and then I'll just go to add. Actually, I'll do control minus. 
Oh, so go to edit preferences, turn on my emulate numpad, and then do control minus. Hmm. If I select this and then shift select this and then do control minus, it's not working. Preferences, turn it off, select this, do this, control minus. It's a boolean, right? Intersection. The difference is because. I'm so confused. Huh? Why are there two? Okay, so select this and then do, I'm so confused, you know what, I don't even care, I'm gonna leave it like this, whatever. Alright, um, if, uh, there is kind of some line spacing, so I'll go to, uh, oh, it's, oh, uh, oops, let me do control Z. Okay, good, um, so now that it's, uh, back to a text by doing control leave a thousand times um i wanted to go to the font no to the line spacing over here and maybe do 1.2 3 is there one in the back of it there is so delete that one okay oh no are you kidding so let me hide this and then delete this one and then unhide this okay i don't know how i got that i think i duplicated it by accident so line spacing um we could do maybe four because it's more spaced out why is it not spacing out like i'm so confused if i go here to font and do line spacing why is it not working this thing is being really rude Oh, I meant I meant character spacing, not line spacing. Um, so funny. I was like, why is it not working? Okay. Um, so we'll do one point five. Well, not two point. How did I even get that? Um, or maybe not. Maybe one point three. And then I'll just move it on the Y. And then I'll do the same thing for this one. Um, and do character spacing 1.3 copy that select this one just kind of center it in the middle um, like that maybe move it downwards a bit downwards a bit maybe scale it a little bit like that and move it like that and then what was I going to do here? Oh yeah, um, character spacing 1.3, move it like that, and so it's definitely smaller though, so move a G on the Y, and then also character space, actually there's no spacing there, so I'm just going to leave it as it is and just make it smaller, and just G, Y to move it in the middle, kind of like that. Alright, I think that's good. And then the color though is not pure black. It's actually a little bit gray. So I'm gonna go to material properties and probably um, Go back to the picture and I have this chrome color pick picker from chrome extension So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in and basically do click on my color picker and try to get that gray color right there and then Control C and then just go to base color Go to hex and just put that in there and it should well 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 actually you know what it's fine it's looking too light but i guess that's fine and then do base color put that in there um and then i think that's good so now we can go into render mode to see what it looks like isn't that pretty i love it um, so if I look at this and I look at its roughness, it has a roughness of zero point whatever that is. So we'll do the same for the bottle. Because I don't think the roughness is the same. But it looks a little shiny. Is it because I did shade smooth? There we go. Um, 
so yeah and then the lighting if i move the lighting interesting because why is there shadow when i do shade smooth okay anyway um so to fix this okay i'm gonna go to top view by clicking the button under escape and then to oh i'll turn it into a sun that's why and then turn the strength down to like five rotate it so it's hitting it directly like that and then moving it kind of there rotating it like that probably gz to move it all the way up and then do shift d and have one like here and just rotate it this way it's looking like that maybe moving it a little like that and rotating it this way and then oops one second okay um shift d do it again move it g on the y and then rotate it kind of like that it just looks weird see this is what i don't know oh okay maybe move it kind of like over here on the x and then rotate it like this instead question mark and then this one can be same position kind of on the x and just rotate it this way oh it's too tall so move it downwards and then rotate it like that but what is this line it's because i did that but then the roughness doesn't work what if i move this So weird. Whatever, I don't care. Anyway, um, I think it's fine. We could definitely change the color of this thing to maybe something like. Let me try this one. I haven't tried dark colors as backdrops. Okay, that's really nice. Um, all right, and then ooh, the plane. I forgot to do. It's a shade smooth. Shade it smooth. Okay, and then I'll turn on my emulate numpad because I don't have a numpad on my keyboard. So in order to do control alt zero, I have to turn on my numpad um, to align the camera to my view. So I'm just going to go to my view. That's how I did it accidentally. It's supposed to be front view, but whatever. And then just maybe I should do something like that. So in order to do that, I'll have to scale it on the Y a little bit more. Um, why is it, shouldn't be, actually, no, I'm just going to leave it like that. So, move it this way, and then do control alt zero. Okay, so kind of just play around until you get the view that you want. Meh, why is that crooked? Control alt zero. Control zero. Nope, a little bit more to the right. Control zero. Yep, that's good. Okay, now click on render, render image, or you can just click on FN12. And then we're going to watch a render. My life. Seen seen something render so fast like what like did you just see this happening or is it just me because i i think i just hallucinated because what in the world just happened this thing just rendered in eight seconds it wasn't doesn't even feel